Hey, I kind of forgot to film an intro, so welcome to my channel if you're new here. This is the look I'm going to show you in this Get Ready With Me, and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Have fun! Okay, I am going to start with the Glassy Primer, and I'm basically doing the same um, kind of foundation look that I did in my last video twist like how to get perfect skin with foundation so really just like redoing that for a second So I'm going to cream contour, I'm using the shade and light palette, and I'm using this middle shade just because it's like the coolest of them. I always like using a cool shade in my contour. Missionaries just came to our door, and I can hear Zach talking. <laughs> you should have told them I'm a witch, babe. Hell yeah. So, I'm gonna add some highlights. So, I'm just gonna take this yellow shade and put that. Just in places that I want to kind of brighten up a little bit. I'm using that same powder from my face video that I just posted, and this is the Becca Hydra Mist. It's honestly so cool. Like, it's just really interesting because it feels so wet. And like I said, this is basically so far the same routine up on my nose contour. And I'm using this Park Ave Princess palette by Tarte, and I'm just going to go over the contoured areas in powder. I'm kind of going to go all out for this look just because it's a boudoir shoot and I don't know, I just like, I like doing fun makeup so I feel like now is the time. Photo shoots are always a good time to play with makeup to do some fun artsy stuff. So that's what we're going to do. I don't like actually have an idea of what I want to do for the eyes just yet. I'm kind of just like, I think I have a basic idea. We'll see if it goes the way I'm planning. I'm just going to spray my face because we have a lot of powder on. Whew. Hopefully we'll get that all incorporated. And I'm going to start on my brows now, which is kind of I don't know, I feel like it's gotten less lengthy of a process the more I've done them. Um, so hopefully it doesn't take too long. I'm gonna use this old ass, it doesn't even have the sticker on it. This is the Great Lash by Maybelline in the color brown. I use this as like a brow primer basically. I 
kind of just gets all my brows coated. I just dyed my eyebrows and my eyelashes last night. I was really scared. It was like, honestly, it was like 3 in the morning. And I just bought it and I was like, let's try it. So I tried it and I was so scared because, oh, I don't know. I just like didn't want to ruin my eyes, I guess. Um, and I've done, as you guys have seen in previous videos, um, like the Just For Men beard dye on my eyebrows, which works fine. Um, and I don't know, I bought this for my lashes and they're like, oh, it can be used for your eyebrows too. So I kind of did that and it was scary, but it worked. And my eyelashes are definitely darker now because they're naturally like platinum blonde. But when my hair is dark, it's like, mm, if I want to go out without makeup, I want my eyelashes and my eyebrows to be the same color. So, yeah. I don't know where my eyeliner or my eyebrow brush is. I have so many brushes. I need to clean these all. These are all really gross. Ooh. I've been using this one forever. This is one of the Anastasia ones. And I don't know. I just love it. it works great. So I kind of want to like do these pretty quickly because I don't think there's any reason to take forever to do them when I can do them the same quickly. So I'm just going to take this black shade and this dusty S palette. This is the Essentials by Violet Voss. Um, but I mean, it's just an eyeshadow, so. So what I think I want to do is kind of like a smoky wing and like maybe just some warmer, like a warmer brown smoky eye kind of thing, if that makes sense. Um, I kind of want it to be matte, I don't know why, it seems very not common for me, but Let's just like, just go in and try some things. Um, eh. hmm. Hello, you. This might be a good palette. Yeah, we'll start with this festival palette. I'm gonna take this epic shade. It's just like a nice, um, orangey, nice crease shade. same shade under my eye as well. Okay, and I'm just gonna move up a step, I guess, and go to this Hidden Desert, which is like more of a burnt orange, redder shade. I'm actually just gonna do this shade the all night because I want it to be more brown than red. So it's a little dark, but it won't go easy. This brush has freckles on it. It should be fun. So I guess it is gonna be a shimmery look. And I'm gonna carry that brown shade on the bottom. I'm gonna take this angled brush and that same black color that I use for my brows 
in this palette. Basically just like line out eyeliner. So I went ahead and put on my eyelashes. These are the Ardell 113 Wispies and some mascara and stuff. Um, which, I don't know, should I go with a nude lip? I don't know, guys. I am also the lighting. Is not I think a nude lip would be fun. If the sun is helping it or hurting it. This is the makeup look. Um, I think I'm gonna curl my hair. I don't know. I don't know. I think I should. Um, I will check back in with you guys with like the full um, hair and little fun clips, I'm sure, from when she comes over. But yeah, that's basically the look. And thanks for getting ready with me. I'm gonna do my hair off camera because it's just really boring. And I'll show you guys the after effect, I guess. And yeah, I will see you guys, I guess, now <laughs> with more footage. So I wanted to show you guys my hair. So I basically just gave it waves throughout and I touched up my makeup a little bit. Um, I added liner on the bottom and kind of made the wing a little thicker. So it's basically what's happening right now. I'm eating Good Sense on my bed whilst in lingerie. So it feels very um, like fancy. I don't know. So yeah, uh, that's where I'm at right now.